know a lot of you ladies are ready to go shopping for your orientation apparel but i'm gonna guys give you tips so you don't go shopping overboard no sis no what's up youtube it is your girl creole barbie here with creole barbie tv if you're new to my channel then welcome i'm creole barbie do not forget to like comment below but best of all subscribe subscribe below to be part of the hottest movement around and that is the bar b game if you're not familiar with me and if it's indeed your first time visiting my channel then welcome i'm creole barbie what i do here on my channel is i make tons and i mean tons and tons and tons of videos pertaining the usps how to apply with the postal service what to expect within your 90 days how to read your paycheck stubs and more. So be sure to check out my USPS playlist where I give you, where I give you, 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 and you a great look insight on what to expect when joining the postal service. So without further ado, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Let's get into the video. All right. So one of my great subscribers wanting to know what type of apparel should you wear when going to orientation at the USPS so I decided to do a simple breakdown using Pinterest photos IG photos Google photos and more similar to each and every one of you ladies styles right yes okay so we're gonna do that all right I'm gonna take time out for you ladies and we're gonna go ahead and get this style together Fellas, 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 don't feel left out, okay? Don't feel left out because you know what? I got something for y'all too. Because ideally people think that you have to dress the traditional way when going to a orientation. And that's not so. It's not like you're going to church. It's not, it's not like you're having to go to a really big job interview at a corporate office or anything like that literally these are simple styles to help you be more comfortable while attending the orientation now one thing I do have to put in here all right is that it's really big on what type of shoes that you wear if you are to wear any type of shoes to orientation be sure to wear closed toe leather shoes and the reason being is because those are the shoes that are actually required to wear when working at the USPS. They want you to wear those closed toe leather shoes because if anything were to fall on your foot, your feet are protected. It will bounce off of it. When you start working there and you when you wear regular sneakers as canvas and you accidentally kick an APC and that toe hurt, don't tell don't don't tell me about it. If anything were to fall on that foot of yours. And your foot break. You can't go and tell, oh, I broke my foot because it's equipment. Because you know who's going to be in the wrong when they check your foot? It's going to be you. You're going to be the one in the wrong, okay? When I was in orientation, believe this or not, the safety coordinator came out. And she looked at each and every one of her feet. And the ones who did not wear closed toe leather shoes, she dismissed them for the day. Don't be dismissed. You never know. So I'm trying to get you ready to stay ready. Because who's to say that your coordinator may or may not do that? So get ready because you stay ready. Period. Alright? So let's go into the video. You guys sit back, relax, drink some tea to this. It's some really good information. And once I'm done, I will come back with you guys with my closing thoughts. In the meantime, enjoy. Alright, so you know the traditional interview attire you have your do's and your don'ts and your do's are jewelry in moderation center two-piece suit skirt that's knee length then you have your pantyhose and then your dark shoes right okay so when they say about the don'ts they don't want you to have Necklaces too large that are distracting, bright colors, or capris that are too casual. Now, that's your typical interview attire, okay? You don't have to follow these guidelines when it comes to orientation. And here I'm going to tell you why. Typically, when you're going to the post office, you want to be as casual as possible, especially in orientation. 
I'm not saying to reveal we're revealing clothing because that's absolutely not necessary whatsoever. However, you can be casual because think about it, you're working in a casual environment, whether you're at the plant or even the station. Now, some of the things about the station is that when you start working behind the counter, then yeah, you will have to start being more business casual. All right, here are some looks that I came up with by using some Pinterest photos. So this look number one, as you can see, is really, really casual. It's nice. It's not too much. Um, it's fall, so it follows right along that guideline of keeping it very nice and professional, but not overdoing it. All right, now here's look number two. Look number two is very, very nice as well. So you've impaired it with jeans again, makes it really, really casual. The top is really nice. The only thing I would say to pay more attention to is your shoes because they do look at to see what kind of shoes you're wearing. They wanna make sure that you're gonna follow the closed toe leather shoe guidelines because that's the guidelines you have to wear when working on the floor you have to wear closed toe leather shoes that's for safety purposes so here's look number three as you can see again she looks really really nice with a nice blouse she has really nice casual business attire pants she's wearing she even matched her with a really nice bag and that's the look you can go for it's not excessive and it's not too casual all right so here's look number four again very very nice with a very nice blouse as you can see she wore a shirt underneath because that blouse could have been see-through a little bit or how it's cut it can be cut too far down where it's not as revealing so again she matched this with a nice pair of jeans and a nice bag and this is how you can look when you go to your orientation class now that's more of the casual business attire but let me get to the actual casual attire other things you can wear as well these are definitely my go-to looks even especially when working at the plant as you can see with woman number one on the left how she has the nice jumpsuit paired with a nice pair of joggers and the Jordans in the middle you can see the young lady wearing a really nice champion sweatshirt paired with some nice shoes as well the only thing has to make sure those shoes are closed toe leather shoes this attire you definitely can't go wrong it's super comfortable and it's orientation ready you fit your environment 100 percent so don't feel out of place if you want to dress like this as well because definitely this is how i will come to orientation matter of fact this is how i came to orientation baby quit playing with me quit playing with me but this ends up my portion for the females on how you can have your little orientation looks one-on-one -on -one with creole barbie but like i said fellas don't feel left out because i do have something for you guys right now so go ahead and just check it out check it out I told you guys i have something for you and here it is so this is what you could wear on your first day for orientation as well you can kind of dress it up to where it's business casual or you can have formal casual so here are some other things that you can actually wear when going to orientation as well. You don't have to wear a two-piece suit. You don't have to be uncomfortable. You don't, you guys. You really don't. I can't stress that enough. Literally, there's people in there with jeans and t-shirt, okay? But if you like to dress nice, because I know for some people, your appearance is everything. Your appearance is the first thing a person will judge you by. But don't want to say it but it's definitely true so i got some photos for you guys as well that you can kind of reflect on and hey if you want to try these looks let me know I'll take a picture and email it to me at nikaisbomb88 at gmail.com all right you guys so let's start with the men's apparel so you have your men's active wear and that's pretty typical of what you see around the post office especially the plant these are how the guys dress they're comfortable they're ready to work and hey you're ready to get the job done so you pretty much can kind of go ahead and form me on a pen when we wear the same attire to orientation class as well now here are some more business casual looks in the middle you kind of be in between active wear and casual i'll go for more of an active wear look for the one in the middle however these are nice looks as well 
And you guys, you don't have to put too much effort into this. Literally, you have the job now. As long as you're clean, you're smelling good, and you're coming to work with a good attitude, at the end of the day, that's what matters. For God, for goodness sake, you can walk in there with a jeans and t-shirt. Ain't nobody gonna judge you. Trust me. Nobody gonna judge you. However, this ends my video. I hope you guys like it. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. If you hadn't done so already, in the meantime, I'm out. You guys be blessed, be safe, and y'all have a good one. Deuces!